Hello YouTube, welcome to the video review of LG 25 UM58 ultrawide monitor in this quarantine work from home setup. Let's jump into the review. But first let's see what we get in the box. As you can see, surprisingly the size of the monitor, at least the height, is relatively small. Then you get the power adapter which you can plug into power. So then you get a HDMI cable which is pretty good and you get the stand. Uh, this is uh, a normal stand not a visa mount and that's all we have in the box oh okay like i forgot we have the cd and the connecting screws it's got two hdmi 2.0 ports there is no inbuilt speaker but you can connect one using this 3.5 mm jack so let's connect the monitor to the stand so shall we so this uh, concealer for the screws so i have connected the screws over there then uh, then we need to uh, hook up this so this is a pro tip so if you keep it in the edge of a table or bed so you can conveniently uh, screw in the monitor so there is uh, it's it's kind of convenient in here so finally successfully we have mounted the monitor to the stand and uh, let's click in inside yeah it's done so i'm gonna place it on my table over there and let's see how it works so i have been using this monitor for two weeks now and have tucked in the wires which were uh, looking ugly so it's kind of set up now let's see the monitor controls we have a joystick beneath the lg logo as you can click here we can select the inputs we have two hdmi inputs we can change between them and then we have the menu option here we have quick settings picture general or reset to factory settings then if you right or left toggle the joystick you'll get the volume controls then uh, we have the picture modes which instantly changes the color like for night viewing or a kind of gaming or something like that it's kind of useful so this joystick setup i prefer than having multiple like four buttons this is an ips panel so viewing angle should be good it supports 8 bits 16.7 million colors and has a 250 nits of maximum brightness the viewing angle is 178 degrees so from top or from any sides it it's uh, generally a better view as it's a 21 is to 9 uh, aspect ratio you get black bars at the side but it's generally good for viewing cinemas which is shot in 21 is to 9 and clearly you can see the vibrant colors of the monitor here compared to my laptop display the main theme about this monitor is multitasking multitasking and more multitasking without use of dual monitors you can do multitasking great here so this is my work from home setup i have connected my laptop to the monitor through hdmi and this is the keyboard i am using it's a multi device keyboard from logitech and microsoft mouse the wide aspect ratio eliminates the use of multiple monitors so you can use a single monitor and use the um, multiple windows there so here i am using the built-in windows snap-in feature for multiple windows so i can run my program see the code i can see youtube video i can chat on teams everything together there is also another way to use the multiple windows by using the LG on-screen control app. We can select the layouts uh, depending on like how we are using it. So there are multiple ways or multiple windows we can configure in an arrangement that we require just like we do on the iPad. So yes, you can use this with the Mac but you would require this dongle or adapter with the HDMI port so that you can connect it to the USB type C port of your Mac or even uh, today's Windows laptops also come with this USB type C port which is universal and being adopted everywhere. I personally like the three windows setup this one so let's see how uh, we would like to configure that so I am trying it on a Mac so this also works on Windows I'll show it to you in a bit so let's first launch the uh, visual studio code so as you can see it uh, gets this snap in points so for coding it's better for a good vertical view so let's put it over here and then like uh, we want to see the preview of the code right so that i'll have it here and 
then like if you want to see some youtube videos like uh, uh, you get some doubt or anything while coding so you you, you want to see some youtube videos right so that one we can keep it in the other place so that is the use of this particular thing so now we have the two window snap which uh, we can use it or something if you want a quite large horizontal space for example you want to edit some videos and you want to see the complete timeline in uh, one uh, one go so you can see like i open imovie here so it's opening uh, yeah let's push it to the monitor uh, one second so yeah so i'm gonna push it here and as you can see it snaps right below and you can see the complete timeline so this is a very useful feature of this monitor you can have a variety of layouts here up to eight screens which i have it here uh, yeah it can be useful so if you multitask eight screens like you can do it this feature works flawlessly on windows laptops too so i have connected here with the three chrome tabs open on my windows machine it works well also there is a dual controller which connects through lan well finally let's do some gaming shall we we have the test drive unlimited 2 which supports the ultra wide aspect ratio uh, which is uh, 2560 into 1080 in this case so i have my steering my pedals over here so you can make fun of me gaming here with the uh, camera in one hand and uh, sitting uh, in an awkward position here so as you can see it supports the wide aspect ratio it looks cool like i can see the entire view uh, through the window of my car and it's really great for gaming uh, and the games which support this ultra wide aspect ratio it's uh, really a fun thing to do obviously you need to have your controls right in front of the screen to enjoy it to the most but it's crisp now with the games that doesn't support the ultra wide aspect ratio so you can run it in a normal ratio but a stretched screen or with the black bars around the left and right edges so it asks you like uh, whether this particular resolution is ok or not so you can click on ok and then you can continue with the gaming so i prefer this one so it's kind of stretched but still it's playable it's fine so there you have it which one do you like a dual screen setup or a ultra wide monitor let me know in the comments also i am planning on doing a desk setup tour soon so subscribe for more and thank you for watching this video and stay safe and as always peace